Coco Brown is brought to you by Fan Yogo, Airtel, Sasso Insecticide Spray, Park Biscuit, Coca Cola, Vitamilk, Joy Daddy, and Delay Foods. I think my brother likes you. I am your passion. I matter. It's about me. What's up? It's been a while. I've been busy. Nanesi, I suppose you cared about you choosing some silly dreams over my brother. I've heard me. I didn't choose my dreams over him. Your brother left me. He broke my heart. See you, or Coco Brown. Every day, me, 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 me. My career, my dreams, my this, my now my heart. Hey, please. Ah. Dennis, why are you behaving like this? I thought we were friends. <laughs> Maybe. But you see, Nanami Afe is my brother. And you know, family over friends. I'm sorry. I have to go, I'm late. <laughs> wow. Coco Brown, you made your bed. Now you lay in it with your career and maybe your dreams will mend your broken heart. I knew about your relationship with that young man earlier, I'd have stopped it even before it started. <laughs> he said he was going to marry me. <laughs> Don't cry, my love. You're only 18. You shouldn't be thinking about marriage. Come, come here. Come there, come. Come, get up, come. Come to mommy. Come, baby. I love. It's gonna be okay. Hmm? Look, I don't want you to make the same mistakes that I made. You have your whole future ahead of you. Well, he says he doesn't want you because you're an entertainer. That's his loss, not yours. Look at me. It might take some time, but eventually. You're going to meet somebody who will appreciate what you do. Somebody who will love you for you. Okay? Don't cry. Don't cry. It's going to be okay. My mom was right, you know. It sure as hell was going to take forever before I met the one. My one true love. Two years down the line, Bertha married Nana Riafe. You remember Bertha, right? That girl who said the age gap between Nana Riafi and myself was too wide. He's an old man. Look, okay. girl. Oh, you're my friend. If it's old man you like me, I'm happy for you. Mmm, sad girl or no? She married Nana Riafi. My heart was broken terribly. I was just 20. I felt so rejected. And my mom my biggest comforter. But we need to wrap up. It's almost time. <laughs> In tier, tier 4, it's been a lovely show today. Thank you so much for tuning in. I've been here with my producer, B Rose, aka Nanaburu, aka Bolinga. <laughs> Do not forget to keep vibrating with excitement on Wave 107.7. A more girl, Coco Brown, holding you down. Hala, I'm on for a short
What do you want? Coco, please don't make decisions when you are down. I know you saw that text message on my phone. It's from a lady from my past. I don't even know why she sends those. Sometimes I think she's just deranged. Asante, that was the name on your phone. Okay, I'll tell you what. I'm going to save her number as Asante the stalker or Asante the psychopath. Are you sure? Of course I'm sure. Come on, man. Can I come in now? Hmm? Will you let me in now? Can I come in?
I don't understand what it is with the men I meet and deception. I hate to be going back into time, but we all have a past and a story to tell. I feel that the more you understand all that I've had to deal with in the past, the more you understand how I have become the lady that I am. This is Olive. I befriended her because she was Nana Riafi's neighbor. I moved in with her, hoping Nana might run into me regularly, be reminded of our love, and take me back. Madam DJ, wait. Tomorrow is your hairdresser's birthday. Please remember to request a song for her. I will. And don't forget to leave me food, please. I'll come right after work, okay? See you. See you. Have a nice day. Thank you. Weeks later, I saw Nana Riafe and his friend. They were obviously laughing at the thought of a small town girl ever becoming rich and famous. <laughs> this was the defining moment. I vowed to myself to prove them wrong. On this faithful day, my life took another turn. Hello, young lady. Hi. Are you going to the market square? Can I give you a lift? I'm going to get a taxi, and besides, I don't take lifts from strangers. Oh, excuse me. I'm not a stranger. See, this is a small town, and everyone knows everyone. Besides, I've been seeing you on my way to work, and I've also spotted you at the radio station, too. What do you come to do there? Let's just say my friend owns the place. I'm Mohini. Coco Brown. Ah, oh, so you are the one with the fiery voice on radio. See, I listen to you every once in a while. Let me at least give you a ride to the radio station. I'm fine, baby. Please, come on, you can't resist. <laughs> to drop you off. Come on, I should be saying thank you. Okay, come on, it's all right. So, um, can I get to call you? I don't have a cell phone, but you can call the office. Wait, how long are you on air for? About an hour and a half. Wait, I get that. Don't worry, it's a bit complicated. I don't understand.
Oh, nah, I mean, this is just. I just want to give you a ride back. Back home. Because I give you a ride to work this morning, so I just thought it wise to pick you up. That's how you play, huh? Oh, no, this is, this is not a play. -o. I mean, it's just a harmless lift. And plus. I got you a cell phone. Yeah, see here you have you have you have you have high five, you have my space, everything at your fingertips. Cool, cool, I had a spare one, so I figured it might be useful to you. Oh Hene, right? Yes, oh Hene. I am really not in the mood for any man relationships, okay? Oh, oh, please, please. Take it easy, okay? I mean I obviously cannot pay for the wrongdoings of somebody who does not see a good thing and stands in front of him. Okay, now I'm only asking for the chance to take you back to where you're going or wherever that is. Look. Hey, one more surprise. Okay. I had the door fixed. <laughs> No more trouble. Tell him. Over the next few weeks and subsequent months, Ohini showed me so much love. That's that's actually the least I can do for a woman of of this um, caliber. <laughs> anyway, I'll leave you guys. Take care and nice meeting you. Oh, honey, right? oh, honey yes. Right. Nice Take to care. meet you, Olive. Bye. Bye. Okay. convinced me to move back to my mother's, which I did. Hehehe <laughs>